Hello. Hi. How are you today? I'm good. Okay. Uh. Okay. I want to ask you how's everything going, but we'll just get right to it. Okay. Now we need to learn this today, and maybe I'll just check first. I'll just check if you actually know this. I think I told you already, but if you don't use it, then you don't remember it. Then maybe I, I'll start with two different sentences here. Okay, wait. Okay, default. Um. Okay. Can you make this sentence? Mm -hmm. Do you know? That's right. Do you know? Do you know? Okay. That is do you know? Just simple, right? And the next thing is, what about this then? Why he angry? Well, the problem is this sentence doesn't have a verb. There should be a verb at least if that's a sentence. Could you try again? Why is he angry? That's right. That should be it. So why is he angry? That's correct. This is a sentence and this is a question sentence. That's, that's why we have to use the verb first and then subject later. Why is he angry? Why is he angry? Okay, then now we merge them into one sentence now, like, and that will be this should be the sentence. And how would you make it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Um, why he is angry? Hmm. Okay. Do you know why he's angry? Okay, so it seems you know this one. Do you know why he's angry? Do you know why he's angry? Okay, fine. So there are a few cases that I can show you. Hmm. Then what about this? What about this then? He came back home. Do you know when he came back home? Okay, that's almost correct. But uh, this point is actually a little different from when. So would you change this part?
Green, no. Mm. What time he came back home? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'll be it. So do you know what time he came back home? Okay, that's correct. Do you know what time he came back home? Do you know what time he came back home? You know it naturally, even before the test starts. It's because I uh, we've been using this one before the test. And so maybe I'll try to make it. I'll, I'm, I'm diagnosing now. Like I need to see if you know this and you know that. The next is... Um, then what about this? I I am serious. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. If he Come back. Okay. It's uh actually this one is about the future tense because it hasn't happened yet, so you need to use the future tense here. I'm curious if he will come back. Or you can say I wonder if he will come back. And in that case, there might be that here. I'm curious that if he will come back, but we don't really use that here. So I'm curious if he will come back. I'm curious if he will come back. I wonder if he will come back. I wonder if he will come back. Okay, of course you can use weather here too, if you want. But in your, in your uh, handout, your teacher didn't mention didn't mention wonder uh, whether so we just use if this time i wonder if he will come back okay and all right and next is hmm, you know that and what is next okay What about this? Mm. <coughs> I... Mm. Um, no. Mm -hmm. um, if she will um, like my present. Mm. Okay. I don't know if she'll like my present. I don't know if she'll like my present. Okay. And next is...
then what about this? Mm -hmm. Me. How the moving was? That's correct. Tell me how the movie was. Tell me how the movie was. Okay, great. You know it. And next is. What about this? Do you know? Mm -hmm. um, where are, um, she went. Okay. Do you know where she went? Do you know where she went? Okay. Correct. And next is. I want to know. Mm -hmm. oh. Um, who um, wrote this book? Hmm. I want to know who wrote this book. I want to know who wrote this book. Okay, perfect. I don't think you need to learn anything more than other, I mean, more than this so okay you got it all and then now we'll just make other sentences just like this it's just something that you learned last time but i need to check if you still remember it and uh that will be mm -hmm. Um, what about this? Mm -hmm. <coughs> Made me. Mm.
not to say well that could have been like this he made me have nothing to say possible yeah actually it's possible you can say it that way but it would have been much easier if you had said he made me speechless do you know speechless what is speechless mm -hmm. Okay, then I'll teach you. That what is speech? Uh, this is a noun, I think. So wait for a second. And so this is speech. Yep. So. Actually, this should be this. Speech. Speech. This might be it. And, uh, okay, wait a second. Has left Theopaphitis unusually speechless. Did you hear it? Did you? Please answer louder. I hear it. Oh, you can see I heard it. Okay, so speech. That is speech, and now you need to understand this too. Uh, what about then speechless? What does that mean, speechless? Body of the... mm. Speechless is actually uh, an adjective, and that is speechless. Speechless. 잘 파악했습니다. List가 있으니까 뭐가 없다라는 거니까. That is speechless. So I can just use this one in the sentence. And there'll be, he made me speechless. Or I can say, he got me speechless. He got me speechless. He made me speechless. He made me speechless. He got me speechless. He got me speechless. Got me speechless. This is possible too, actually. But this is an easier way. Just use adjective. Okay, fine. All right, and what about then? Uh, then what about it? Gave me a glass of coffee. Mm -hmm. But usually we don't have coffee in the glass, so in that case, we will say he gave me a cup of coffee. And also, you can use this got as well here. He got me a cup of coffee. So try to understand, you can use get for many different cases. He gave me a cup of coffee. He gave me a cup of coffee. He got me a cup of coffee. He got me a cup of coffee. 
okay fine and next is you need to understand other things here too okay so we'll just make some more and i can say uh mm, then what about this can you make it Can I? Hmm. Help you. The best way actually is can I help you? Right. Can I help you? Can I help you? The best way, yes, but in that case maybe we can just uh, make it this way too and i want you to understand because in your test you'll see a lot of these sentences is it okay for me to help you that's possible too is it okay for me to help you is it okay for me to help you though people will always say this this is simpler better i think and okay so you might need to understand this sentence can be this two and this two is it okay for me to help you okay oh then what about this It is dangerous to go there now. Okay, but you need to understand this is a question. What did I say about question? Question sentences must have the verb first and then subject. Could you change it? Is it dangerous mm -hmm. to go there now? That's correct. Is it dangerous to go there now? Is it dangerous to go there now? Right, that's how you do. But I want to change a few things or just one thing here. How'd you make it then? Can you give it a little bit of change? Is it mm -hmm. dangerous? Mm. Um. I go there now. Mm -hmm. Well, I can't say this is wrong. You can say it this way too. Is it dangerous that I go there now? Fine, actually possible. But in this chapter, you might want to learn this how I can do. So it's the reason why you put here. I go there now. 를 여기에다 굳이 넣은 이유는 제가를 넣는 방법을 몰라서 여기 문장으로 푼 거잖아요. 아까랑 다르게 그죠? 음, 우리는 그거를 의미상의 주어라고 불러요. 그래서 원래 문장은 
Is it dangerous to go there now? 여기에다가 제가 만들어가면 되는 거죠, 그죠? 그래서 Is it dangerous for me to go there now? 이렇게 만들면 됩니다. 이걸 우리는 의미상의 주어라고 불러요. Is it dangerous for me to go there now? Is it dangerous for me to go there now? 이게 의미상의 주어라고 부르는 건 뭐냐면은 여기에서 실질적으로 이시 주어예요. 문장에서는 그죠? 근데 누가 뭐해 뭐를의 관점에서 볼때 내가 가는 게 어떻다라는 얘기를 하고 있는 거잖아요. 그래서 의미상에선 얘가 주어가 맞아요. 그래서 얘는 의미상의 주어라고 부릅니다. Alright, good. And next is maybe I can say, uh, wow, okay, then I can say, um, Okay, so now I'm going to say, Well, then, can you make the sentence this one first or this one first? Any, anything is okay, you can just make it. Is This. Do you say this? Mm -hmm. Difficult. Mm -hmm. To learn. Okay, that's correct. That must be this. 이거는 그게 사실인지 아닌지를 묻는 문장이 어려운가요? 라는 것은 근데 어려울까요? 라는 것은 상대방의 의향을 묻는 문장이에요 실질적으로는 그래서 이거는 약간 달라질 수 있어요 나라면 저말 저렇게 안 하고 Would it be difficult to learn? 이렇게 물어봐요 이건 어떤 의향을 묻는 문장에 더 어울리기 때문에 그래서 이 문장으로 만드는 게 맞긴 해요 사실 근데 그 부분은 일단은 생략합니다. 이번 시험에는 그 정도까지는 안 나올 거니까. 우드의 의향을 파악하고 뭐 이거는 시험에는 안 나오니까. 근데 이건 이게 맞습니다. Is this? Is it? Is it? 통일할게요. 헷갈릴 겁니다. 나중에. 이걸로 먼저 통일시키세요. Is it difficult to learn? Is it difficult to learn? Okay. What about this? It is it. Hmm. Mm. <coughs> Difficult. For my sisters to learn. Perfect. Is it difficult for my sisters to learn? Is it difficult for my sisters to learn? Okay, that's how you do. So I think you understand this E2 and maybe, uh, okay, then what can I say? I don't know. It's all right. I think, I think you're okay now. Next, what should I say? Uh, because, okay. this mm. 
I I can um home only mm -hmm. um, because of the person. All right, possible you can say because of just like that, but when that person helped you so it's positive then you can say thanks to the person <clears throat> but in your test you you will not see thanks to so it's okay you can just remember because of that's fine <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> all right what else is there i don't know maybe i can just uh Nothing's difficult for now for you now. Okay, did you get more handouts from your teacher? Mm. Could you answer me? Mm. I don't understand. Okay, uh do you know handout? No. Okay. Mm. Yeah, maybe I can just show you this. Eight. Oh. Can I do this here? Maybe here? It doesn't work. Wait a second. I need to figure this out. Huh. <laughs> okay. Oh, I can't. Well, this is hand out. So my question was hand out, hand out. That is, this should be hand out. Now, do you understand what this is? Yes. Okay. So my question was, did you get more handouts from your teacher? Did you get more handouts from your teacher? Did you get more handouts from your teacher? No, I didn't. All right, go on. I didn't got more hands out or from my teacher. Okay, that's correct. Or you can just use any in that case. Uh, Can you make this sentence? Mm. I mm. Didn't. Mm -hmm. Mm 
get anything mm, good from he he no him because it's uh <clears throat> Key subject, then you can't just use it here like that. I didn't get anything from him. I didn't get anything from him. Okay, good. And what about this? Hmm. Hmm. Can you make it? I didn't get any Report. Mm -hmm. From him. Okay. In that case, maybe I'll say information. I didn't get any information from him. I didn't get any information from him. So what is this? Information. That's right information information and i'll go with inform later so i'll re-invite you and i'll see you very soon all right that is information and as you can see we have t-i-o-n at the end that's why this is a noun so what is the part of speech of this word That's correct. This is a noun. And next is maybe I want to talk about this too. What is this? Do you know this? I don't know. Inform. Inform. Okay. This is inform. But then if you learn this way, you learn nothing. That's the problem and now I want to let it happen. So inform is this is in form. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. I understand. Very good. And next is I don't know. Maybe I can just ask GPT. What can I say? I 
I'll just go with Benio. Okay, can you make this sentence? I... In form. Mm -hmm. I inform the, the place mm -hmm. for him. Mm. That way you can say I informed him of the venue. I informed him of the venue. I informed him of the venue. This sounds like this. Venue. Yep. Venue. So you might not know venue, do you? Mm. Inform 같은 경우에는 이런 식으로 쓸 때, 사명식으로 쓸 때, 뒤에 사람을 받아요. 누구에게 알리다라고 우리 선생님이 가르쳐 준 거고, 일반적으로 그래요. 그 다음에 뒤에 뭐에 대해서 알리다가 나올 때 오브를 씁니다. 그래서 I informed him of the venue 이렇게 말하는 게 맞아요. Venue는 장소라는 명사예요. 그래서 이렇게 만들어줬어요. 그 다음 거기에 들어가는 것들은 조금씩 알려줄게요. Venue, Venue 근데 이 venue라는 거를 왜 place 대신에 썼냐면은 이것 때문에 그래요. 예를 들어서 여기 보면은 장소가 나오는데 여기에서 장소의 뜻을 venue로 찾으면 약간 느낌이 다르다는 걸알수 있는데 봐봐요. place 같은 경우에는 곧 장소, 지역, 노타, 공간 이렇게 되는데 venue 같은 경우에는 행위의 현장이라는 뜻이 있어요. 그래서 I informed him of the venue. 그러면은 어떤 일이 열리는지 뭐 파티가 될 수도 있고 뭐 수업이 될 수도 있고 그렇겠죠. 그래서 그 행위 현장이 어디인지 정확히 그런 말을 쓸때 배뉴를 써요. 그래서 더 쓰기 좋아요 이런 것들이. 어. 알겠습니다. 오케이. Okay. And all right, let's stick to the your stick to your test first, and let's talk about it more. Wait a second. Okay. And uh, here we have other things. Just not much. Then I guess maybe uh, this is about time. No, I'll do it later. That's it. That's all about your test. That's all the things you need to learn for your test. That's it. All right. Did your teacher say she is it she or he? He. Okay. Is he? Okay. So, did he say that he would give you more handouts? Mm. Yes. Oh, he did. Okay. And when? Mm. When would that be? Mm. He will give mm -hmm. other hands out mm. tomorrow. Oh, it's tomorrow. Okay. As soon as you receive it, please just uh, take a good picture of it and then send it to me. Okay. So I just said as soon as 
What does that mean as soon as? Do you understand? Oh, yeah, something like that. So maybe I'll just make... Uh, What about this? How would you make it? Picture. Uh huh. And sand. Mm -hmm. As soon as mm -hmm. the Print. Can you say again? I couldn't hear Print. you just now. Print. Okay. Well, 이거 못 하는 거 아니에요. 괜찮아요. 왜냐면은 선생님 요즘에 지난주랑 지지난주 정도에 언어 교환을 시작을 했습니다. 일본어를 배우기 위해서 일본 분과 영어로 하는 일본 분이고 저는 한국어를 하는 한국 사람이잖아요. 영어로 하는 한국 사람이잖아요. 그러니까 둘이 언어 교환을 한단 말이에요. 저는 한국어 가르쳐 주고 그분은 저한테 일본어를 가르쳐 줘요. 근데 저는 지금 수업을 하면서 계속 생각하는 게 너한테는 스스로에게 자문하기를 너에게는 이 문장을 일본어로 만들 능력이 있느냐라고 물어보는데 없어. 난 이거 못 만들어요. 일본어로 지금. 받자마자도 모르고 프린트물도 모르고 사진은 알아요. 근데 찍다라는 말을 모르겠어. 보내다는 알아요. 단어가 너무 없으니까 내 일본어보다 지금 학생의 영어가 훨씬 더 훌륭한 거잖아요. 근데 그 심정을 알겠어요. 이런 말이 바로바로 바로 안 나오고 느리고 이런 것들에 대한 심정을 내가 잘 압니다. 음, 나보다 훨씬 잘하고 있는 거예요. 그러니까 괜찮아. 오케이. 결과 먼저 뺀거 잘했어요. 저는 이게 가장 좋은 방법이라고 생각합니다. 그래서 take, 저는 이렇게 만들 건데 take pictures. of the handouts and send it to me as soon as you receive it. 저는 이렇게 만들 거예요. 이걸 보면은 이해가 되나요? 무슨 문장인지. 만약에 내가 이걸 안 시키고 이걸 써 놓은 다음에 한글로 해석하라고 했으면 해석할 수 있었을까요? 음. 어떻게 생각합니까? 음. 아마 
전혀 모르는 거 같고 빼면 그렇군요. 할수 어, 있을 어, 어. 것 같아 그거 단어 모르는 거 물어보려고 방금 질문 던진 거예요. 여기에서 모르는 단어는 뭘까요? 그러면은? 음, 리시브가 뭔지 모르겠어요. 들은 적은 있죠. 근데 정확히 모르겠는 네. 거죠. 어, 알겠습니다. Take pictures of the handouts and send it to me as soon as you receive it. Uh, take pictures of the handouts and send. Okay. Take Try pictures it. of the handouts and send. 잠깐만 이거 한번 시도를 해볼 건데. 어, 아니다 그냥 내가 하자. Take pictures of the handouts and send it to me as soon as you receive it. 아, 말이 꼬이네. Take pictures of the handouts and send it to me as soon as you receive it. Take pictures of the handouts and send it to me as soon as you receive it. 이게 뭐뭐를 받다라는 말이에요. 그러면 구조는 보여요? 안 막히고? 오케이, okay, 알겠습니다. 네. Receive. 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 배구 해보면 은 이렇게 공 오는 거 받는 거를 receive라고 하잖아요. 똑같아요. receive예요. 뭐뭐를 받다라는 게. receive라는 동사에 어울리는 명사는 email이 될 수도 있고 뭐 gift 같은 선물 이런 것도 될 수도 있고 뭐든 받으면 그냥 receive인 거예요. 알겠죠? 됐습니다. 어. 시험 공부는 잘 되고 있습니까? 네. 그래요. 다른 과목들도 다 하고 있어요? 시간 괜찮아요? 음, 하고 있는 게 있어요. 그래요? 어, 시간은? 선생님 지금 준 숙제 하루에 40개씩 보고 있죠? 세 카드 30개인가? 30개죠? 40개요. 40개를 올렸군요. 시간 얼마나 걸리죠? 응. 40개 하는데? 얼마 안 걸리잖아요. 그죠? 네. 어, 괜찮아요. 그거 막 완벽하게 하려고 스트레스 받을 필요 없습니다. 그냥 머리가 그 뭐야 빈칸 뚫린 걸 봤을 때그 빈칸에 뭐가 있는지를 기억하면 돼요. 그러니까 계속 그거를 골고루 봐주는 거예요. 실질적으로 성적에는 도움이 되겠지만 실력에는 도움이 안 되는 부분이 많기 때문에 그런 식으로 학습할 것이고 오늘 수업은 실력에 도움이 되는 부분이에요. 실질적으로 그런 걸 이용해서 자기 문장을 만들어 낼수 있다로 가는 거기 때문에 문제는 거기에 있어요. 본인이 지금 만들 수 있는 능력이 있고 뭐 이런 것들이 있는데 출력하는 데 있어서 속도가 너무 느리긴 해요. 근데 괜찮아지겠지 라는 생각으로 계속 가고 있는데 확실히 그쪽으로는 탁월한 사람은 아닙니다. 제가 볼때 그래도 꾸준하면 은다 갈아엎을 수 있습니다. 그런 것도 근데 문제는 수업으로 꾸준하면 돈이 너무 많이 들어요. 그러니까 평소에 본인이 뭔가를 해야 될것 같긴 한데 시험 끝나고 나서 그 부분에 대해서 나아갈 방향을 조금 더 얘기를 해봅시다. Well then, um, what, what else is here? 듣는 거는 다 들리죠. 솔직히 내가 하는 얘기 뭔 소리인지 다 알겠죠. 그러니까 듣기는 엄청 성장했어요. 나도 가끔가다 깜짝깜짝 놀랄 때가 있었으니까 이걸 알아들었다고? 라는 생각이 들 때가 있었으니까 근데 문제는 본인 생각처럼 말이 안 나오죠. 머릿속에 분명히 단어가 여기저기 있는데 그거 여기 가서 이 단어 가져오고 저기 가서 이 단어 가져오고 그걸 조합에 맞게 맞추고 이거 하는데 시간 많이 걸리잖아요. 그죠? 네. 뭔 소린지 알아요. 아는데 그거에 대해서 조금만 설명을 해줄게요. 선생님이 딱 그런 과정이 있었는데 그거에 대해서 설명을 해줄게요. 말이 안 나와. 안 쓰고 그냥 설명을 해줄게요. 말이 안 나와요. 때려 죽여도 안 나와요. 진짜. 나는 가서 외국인들이랑 대화를 하는데 내 모습이 초라하고 미치겠는 거예요. 말이 안 나와. 그리고 돌아서서 집에 와서 생각해보면 은이 말을 왜 못했지? 이 생각밖에 안 드는 경우가 되게 많았어요. 근데 그게 어느 순간에 어떻게 바뀌었냐면 은 말이 안 나온다. 여기에서 어느 순간 이런 상황이 와요. 영어로 꿈을 꾼다. 이런 상황도 왔었고 영어로 심지어는 잠꼬대를 한다. 이런 상황도 왔었어요. 선생님 입장에서는. 근데 이게 오고 나서 어떤 상황이 되냐면 이게 왜 이렇게 오는 건지 말해줄게요. 뇌가 파악한다. 뭐를 파악하냐면 은아 한글로 생각하고 영어로 만드는 것보다 그냥 영어로 애초에 
생각을 하는 뇌를 만들어 버리면 더 편하구나 이걸 깨달아야 뇌가 그럼 그때부터 무슨 일이 일어나냐면 본인은 인지 못하겠지만 자기가 어느 순간부터 한국어로 생각을 안 하고 있단 말이에요 영어를 쓸때 이게 한번 와요 나중에 그러면 은 그때부터는 혼돈이 오기 시작해요 머리에 혼란이 오기 시작하는데 반대로 이제 영어를 한국어로 바꾸는 과정에서 굉장히 고통을 겪게 될 거예요 나중엔 다 맞춰지겠지만 이게 올 거예요 지금은 한국어로 생각하고 영어로 만들고 있지 않나요? 응. 그게 바뀔 거예요 언젠가 그 특이점이 딱 지나자마자 갑작스럽게 영어가 급변하기 시작할 건데 그때까지는 글쎄 어느 시점이 오면 분명히 그게 그렇게 될 건데 그건 본인의 선택입니다. 선생님이랑 계속 해야지 그게 옳지 아니면 은 본인이 벽을 보고라도 말을 계속하고 내지는 채 g PT랑도 말을 계속하고 해서 그 시점을 끌어올지 근데 멈추지 마세요. 나랑 해도 되고 나랑 안 해도 괜찮은데 이 시점이 분명히 올 거예요. 그리고 그 시점이 아마 멀진 않았을 거야. 이게 와요. 이게 오면 은 그때부터 확 달라져요. 뭔가가. 그동안 몰랐던 게다 보여 그냥. 그러니까 이 시점이 올 때까지는 쭉 가보세요. 그러면 이해할 거예요. 내가 왜 이런 말을 하는지 굳이. 정말 달라집니다. 이때부터. 완벽히 달라져요. 이 깨달음 하나 얻으려고 외국에 가서 공부하는 거예요. 사람들이. 이거 하나 때문에. 뇌가 파악하게 만들라고 이거를. 오케이. Okay. Next sentence. I don't know. 음... I don't know what to give anymore. It's just... Alright, let's talk about other things then. Like, uh, how was school today? It was good. Okay, what did you do at school with your friends? Um, we um, play. We played. Um, badminton. Mm -hmm. um, um, and we. Um, Talked about school festival. Oh, do you have school festival? Yes. Okay, tell me about it. It will mm -hmm. um, um, start um, um, When the final exam finish, mm, I see. So it's after final exam. Yes. Okay. Uh, when was it? When is your final exam? By the way. Next week. Mm -hmm. yeah. Friday. Next, next week, Friday. Okay. Uh, what's the date? Okay. You know what? I can just check it out in uh, my computer. Next Friday is here. So fifteenth. 
Yes. Ah, so it was your final exam. I was confused with Layla's because Layla's final exam is 19th, which is here. Yeah, two weeks later. All right, okay. And are you nervous because of the test? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I... Mm. Yes, I nervous. Oh, in that case, you want to say yes, I am nervous because nervous is an adjective. So say again, please. Yes, I am nervous. Mm -hmm. I see. Hmm. And uh, how 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 long do you study every day for your test now? <clears throat> Mm. Mm. I mm, study mm. Mm. One hour and thirty. One hour and thirty for English only, or like everything. Everything. Oh, I see. Okay. So, which means you come back from school and then you study for all the subjects for one hour and thirty minutes. Is that, is that it? Mm. I don't understand. Oh, which means like you come back from school and then you study for all the subjects. For one hour and thirty minutes every day, am I right? Mm. Yes, okay. I uh -huh. study or the subject. Mm -hmm. mm. All right, I see. I guess I'll make more things when you give me the the handouts pictures, and then I will make more cards for you. And you're doing it okay now, so I'm not so worried. All right, then I guess I'll see you in the next class. Then bye bye.